Evidence of Edalia can be seen throughout Madison County. Madison County has taken it pretty hard on the chin here the last year. But neighbors now have a new disaster to recover from. I'm Kendall Brandt in the Madison County neighborhood. Feet of flood water was left behind from Hurricane Debbie, and I'm following along with one crew as they work to help neighbors recover from both Adalia and Debbie. Camilo Andrade has been traveling to Madison County from the Palm Coast since last September. With his nonprofit Starfish Disaster Recovery, he has been helping people recover from Hurricane Adalia. A lot of people think that it's over in a week and that they're all done, but uh, it's been a year since Idalia. We just cut a huge tree out of somebody's front yard yesterday that had fallen down in Idalia. They've been living with it right off their front porch for a year. Now they're cleaning up from the most recent disaster. <laughs> Debbie, the main damage, flooding. When the water comes out as we go around and we cut the drywall around the entire inside of the house. The damage in this home tells you a lot about the conditions right after the storm. You can see this line on the wall. It shows how far that water came up. Andrade isn't the only one doing this work. A crew with AmeriCorps, a federal group dedicated to national service, has joined them. Theo Fauché says the work has been extensive. You know, it was hit pretty hard here. Not, not a lot of recovery has been done. So... There's still a lot of work to do here from, you know, even from Idelia. But he says the neighbors he has helped have been hopeful. Uh, a lot of fallen trees, a lot of flooded houses, but what's kind of impressing most is that people are very positive about it. And Andrade says helping neighbors through starfish disaster recovery has been the reward of a lifetime. I, I get more out of it than I can give them. I, I could stay here and work for the next 20 years and never give back to them what they've given to me. The team with Starfish will be here until about middle of next month to help people as they continue to recover. In Madison County, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.